motion capture suit as the parts that are on Robin right now is basically the base on which I will be putting these markers, which are uh, covered in reflective coating. Our cameras are gonna be sending infrared light over to this, and then the light is gonna bounce back and the camera is gonna register where the marker is. Motion capture came to entertainment from the medical field. It was used across chiropractors and sports coaches for people who wanted to improve on the sports uh, advancements and uh, also on the recovery from trauma. I can track your motion and I can analyze that and I can track and um, see how can I make you perform better or what is the progress of our recovery from a certain trauma. My career as an actor, I was trained in theater, and then when I moved to LA, I did a lot of film. And I came across mocap acting because I really fell in love with video games, and I wanted to figure out how to act for video games. Sometimes in mocap, you get to play, and I have played like dragons and werewolves and so forth like that. Now we have Matthew in real time moving around. What's most important is that I can see Matthew's bone movement based off of his markers. This system is actually completely disregarding everything that has to do with anything apart from the skeletal movement. It is up to the actor to transfer the weight through their performance. That's why a very light person can play a very big, burly, heavy character if they are a good enough actor and they can show that weight in their body movement. That's the one thing I love about motion capture. It's not about how you look. It's about how you bring the character to life. Here at Rouge, we have done pickup shots for Black Panther, Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, things like that. So Marvel films, we have worked on a bunch of different video games. In feature film, uh, we use what's called digital doubles a lot. So we'll actually 3D scan actual actors in their costumes and then build a 3D puppet out of that 3D scan. And then we fit it with bones, like an armature, like you would do like a marionette. And then the motion capture is what drives that marionette. We do that with body motion capture, and then now in a lot of things with face motion capture, with those HMC head-mounted cameras. We're actually recording the facial expressions and the body and fingers all in one go, and then that is puppeteering your CG avatar.